بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الخلق أجمعين وخاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا وحبيبنا وحبيب إله العالمين الرسول الأمجد المحمود الأحمد أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعجل فرجهم The subject tonight, inshallah, will be about the reality of spirit, soul, and the body. What is the nature of the spirit? What is the nature of soul? And how they are related to the human body? The Holy Quran mentioned in many verses about the spirit and the soul. For example, about the spirit, say, ويسألونك عن الروح قل الروح من أمر ربي in سورة الإسراء verse 85 they ask you about the spirit say the spirit from the order of my Lord and the knowledge you have been given is very little or about the um, soul again uh, Remember when your Lord told the angels, إِنِّي خَالِقٌ بَشَرًا مِنْ صَلْصَالٍ I am creating a human being from the clay. فَإِذَا سَوَّيْتُهُ When I make it, when it is complete, وَنَفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي And I blow in it from my spirit. Then you bow for him, prostrate for him, do sujood for him. Another I am, وَنَفْسِ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا In Surah Al-Shams, uh, Ayah 7 and 8, Allah is swearing by the soul and he who created it, uh, uh, who inspired it, its uh, fujur is uh, going astray and it's piety, you know. So to be pious or not to be pious, both were inspired. In another ayah in Surah Al-Zamar, ayah 42, Allah يَتَوَفَّ الْأَنفُسْ حِينَ مَوْتَى Almighty Allah is taking the souls at time of death. وَالَّتِي لَمْ تَمُتْ And that soul which is not dying, Allah take it while sleeping فِي مَنَامِهَا فَيُمْسُكُ الَّتِي قَضَى عَلَيْهَا الْمَوْتِ If it is decreed to die, then the soul will be um, captured by God, so the person will die. Or if he is not decreed to die uh, at time of sleep, then Allah will send the soul back. Till a uh, known time for it. There are many ayahs, I mentioned some of them. Uh, the meaning of spirit and soul is not very um, uh, definite. Uh, though we know it, we know what is the spirit, we know what is soul just as a language. But what is its nature? Very difficult to discuss about it. It is said that the language meaning of spirit from the um, wind from the air and because the air is very uh, thin and very uh, light and move easily so the spirit has the same character is, uh, that is why it's taking the ruh from rih the relation of that uh, according to some the origin of the uh, word in Arabic language is uh, coming out of something which moves very freely and very nicely, uh, like the air is moving nicely, freely, simple. So the spirit is the same thing. So that maybe that is the origin. Uh, so that coming out thing in that way in the body is called the spirit. Uh, and if we use it for the prophethood, we say it is the revelation coming, the ruh is coming as a revelation to the prophet. Or when we say 
the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come, the ruh uh, is the light or inspiration of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Ali alayhi salam uh, mentioned a very beautiful saying, probably the most correct and beautiful word explaining the uh, meaning of a spirit. Uh, he said, الروح في الجسد كالمعنى في اللفظ He said the spirit in the body, the relation of the spirit to the body, is like the relation between the meaning to the word said. When we say something, we say a book, for example. So a book, B-O-O-K, that is the spelling, and it is and um, the larynx is moving, the muscles are moving, the air is blown, which comes like book, so we hear it, the other side hear it as book. But what he understand from it, not this air moving and not uh, anything material, he understand the meaning of the book. That meaning is in the mind, is not uh, material. So the difference between the spirit and the body, the body, yes, is the place or from the body, the, the, soul, the spirit is there running affairs of the body. But they are different, you know. The body is material, the spirit is non-material. Like the uh, saying the word is a material, but the meaning is not material, we got it. You know, we got the meaning of what is said, you know, that meaning is an uh, activity of the brain uh, or the reason, aql to do it and understand what was said. So that is in short uh, about the spirit. About the nafs, the soul, Raghab uh, al-Isfahani in his book in Arabic uh, wording uh, of the Arabic language uh, called Mufradat al-Raghab, like a dictionary, uh, he said, and nafs, meaning this, the ruh, the soul and the spirit, they are have the same meaning. And sometimes, if, it, if we are talking about the person, it means he himself. When you say nafsuhu, it means he himself. Uh, so, I mean, that is the meaning. Uh, and sometimes say nafs for nafas, nafas the breath. So when you say his breath stopped, means he died, you know. When he stopped the breathing, he died. So that is why they call the breath as uh, nafs, as a soul, you know. Or sometimes it is given to the blood. Because if the blood comes out and finish, the person will die. In fiqh, we say it about animals. Uh, that if their blood is not gushing while slaughtering them, they have no nafsun sa'ile. So no, it has no uh, soul which uh, is liquid because like the uh, uh, fish or uh, some small uh, animals, cockroach for example, if it is slaughtered, killed, the blood will not gush. It is um, contra, uh, in contrary to the chicken or to the sheep, when it is slaughtered, the blood will gush. So they say the, the blood, if it gush, means the soul is coming out. So sometimes the soul is used for that. Uh, however, one of the meanings of a soul is the spirit and um, the soul is mentioned in the Holy Quran in many ayahs, you know. Uh, there is, it is said three types of souls. The first soul, and nafsul ammara the soul which order the person to do the thing. It make the mistakes very lovely, very nice, very good, and encourage the person to do the mistakes. The Holy Quran said, In Nafsal Ammaratum Bisu in Surah Yusuf verse fifty-three. The soul is calling me to do the bad thing, to do the wrong thing. So that is one type of soul. 
The other top, النفس اللوامة. If somebody do a mistake, sometime later on he repent, and his soul will blame him. So the blaming soul. Um, the Holy Quran said, "Wala aqsimu bin nafs illawama," and I will not swear by the uh, blaming soul. So that soul is blaming the person why he did a mistake, why he did a sin, why he uh, has gone wrong. You know. Uh, the third soul is nafsul mutmainna, the uh, the soul which is uh, uh, definite and stable, completely, uh, and uh, reached the state of uh, confidence completely in believing Allah subhanahu wa taala, in decree of Allah subhanahu wa taala, in what He is doing. Subhanahu wa taala, all is right. If that soul see uh, favors of Allah, thanks Allah for all his blessings, and if see some problems, difficulties in life, will have sabr, will have patience and tolerance, and uh, know that everything is decreed by Allah, and all these sufferings will be rewarded in the day of judgment. So it is um, uh, having 100% confidence uh, about uh, the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon you. So that soul which reaches the assurity and peace and complete obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to certainty, uh, completely certain, uh, completely about uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is called in the Holy Quran, Ya Ayatu an Nafs al Mutmain, or the certain soul, return to your Lord, uh, satisfied, and um, you will be made satisfied. In Surah Al Fajr, uh, verse 27. Uh, so that is the thing uh, about the soul and the spirit. Some scholars say the uh, the soul is actually the spirit itself but when it uh, joined the body will enter the body so the soul the spirit alone is a spirit when it comes attached to the body uh, then changed into soul uh, that is what is what is called uh, because why they say because they say the spirit is always doing good uh, is not sinful the spirit the, the sin comes from the soul. So the soul may do good, may do bad. That is because effect of the body. Otherwise, the spirit alone will not do that. So in, when it join the body, that body may do good, may do bad, may go right, may go wrong. You know? So all that is activities of the soul. Uh, but because the spirit is in touch with the body now, controlling the body, and uh, changed into the soul is affected by uh, activities and deeds done by the body. So maybe good, maybe not good, whatever it is, you know. However, we cannot say definitely what the, the spirit exactly is and what the soul exactly is. We know only the physical body that we see. But we know that the soul and the spirit are not actually material part of the body, not even part of the material body. Why? Because the material body, part of the definition of the material, is its need for time, for space, and can be changed by time, can be divided. So these are four uh, def uh, definitions. Uh, the body, uh, need a time, it is in a time, it needs a space, and it changes by time as, as a child grow up, and an adult, and then elderly, and, and so on. Uh, and uh, it can be divided into parts, you know, the body, you can divide it. While the uh, non-material uh, that cannot be divided, cannot change, will not change, and is not uh, in need of space and time. 
So the soul, how can you divide the soul? Half a soul, you cannot change the soul. The spirit, you cannot divide the spirit. The spirit will not change. We remember the spirit as it is. Uh, created before this world, the spirit as we discussed in the previous lectures, and then in this world, and then after death, will be separated from the body. That is the meaning of death for the spirit. When it leaves the body means it died. The body dies when the spirit leaves it, and the spirit die when it leaves the body. So, but still remain the spirit. That spirit will not change. So it is something beyond this material body. It is not a material. Uh, the body changes by time. But you see the identity when we say I, I am. That I, who are I, you know. When I say I, who, what is I? Uh, even hands, I see this is my hand. This is my leg. This is my head, my body, my soul my spirit, my, everything to my. So who is that my? That identity uh, is not very known, you know, but it is out of uh, this material body, uh, naturally. It is something, not this one. This body will change by time. The same when you say I, uh, myself, I was a newborn, and then I was a baby, and I was... Uh, at a younger age and, and uh, secondary school, university, adult, married, etc. But so I changed a lot, but the same, the same identity remained, did not change. So that identity is not changing. That is a sign that it is not material. The body is changing, yes, it is material. But the spirit and the soul are not changing, you know. They are the center of the uh, reason, aql. We have, we think by reason that reason, um, though we we say it is in the brain, the brain is actually the organ of reasoning, not the reason itself. Like the eye is organ of seeing, like the tongue is organ of, uh, let us say, speaking, like the nose is an organ for smelling like the hand is an organ for perception, touching and perceiving things, you know. So these are organs. The brain is an organ for thinking and having logic or intellect in it. Uh, the reason is not the brain itself. Okay, that is the praise for the thinking, fine, but it is not there. Uh, so it, it looks that the relation relation of something non-material or is called abstract, mujarrad, uh, to the material thing which is the body. You know. Now the ruh or spirit mentioned in the Holy Quran in many meanings, first of all is definition by the uh, mufassirin of the Holy Quran, those who uh, have exegesis of the Holy Quran, he said, it is that thing which by it the body will be alive and will be able to have a feeling, movement, willpower, uh, understanding, and so on, you know. Uh, in the Holy Quran, mentioned in many, uh, with many uh, meanings, not one meaning. One of them is the body, uh, is the soul, uh, which is in the body as a cause of life. Um, cause of life, like in the ayah, they ask you about the spirit, the spirit from the command of my Lord, and whatever knowledge you have been given is very little. In this ayah, there are many um, views uh, of the people who do exegesis of the Holy Quran. Uh, that depends on what was the reason for the question. Because it is said that some of the Jews told people of Mecca, ask Prophet Muhammad about the spirit. If he tell you the answer, means he is not a prophet. It, if he doesn't um, answer it uh, clearly, then he is a prophet. 
because we read in the Bible that there is no definition for the spirit. It is an affair of Almighty God. I mean, these are some of the stories mentioned about the reason why this ayah came. So when they asked the prophet about the spirit, the revelation came, tell them that spirit is from the command of my Lord, from Amr, the order of my Lord. Uh, that is the answer. Now, what uh, does they mean by their question? Do they mean what is the nature of the spirit? So he said it is from Alamul Amr, the word of commands, the word of Malakut, the word of unseen. It is not created from this world. It is not a physical part of the body. Maybe that is the answer. Or if they have, maybe they have asked him about uh, that spirit which is uh, uh, there. Is it eternal uh, because it is part of God um, as they believe in a trinity, for example. Uh, they said that three uh, hypostases, God and the Holy Spirit and the Son, they have the same nature, but they were divided in the... Um, uh, in their uh, existence so uh, all are eternal so they say is this spirit we have is an eternal spirit or it is contingent spirit it is a created by God it is not part of God so he said no it is a command of my God means a created uh, by almighty God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is not part of it because Almighty Allah has no parts. Almighty Allah is simple. The simple has no parts. Cannot divide it. Samad is um, without possibility of uh, division. No uh, vacancy in it to divide. Lem yalid wa lem yulad. He's not giving birth and was not born, you know. So nothing comes out of him to born. So when he said, from my spirit means it is a created spirit by order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, here in, in, in hadith um, also mentioned about it uh, uh, from the imams, um, they, they asked about this spirit, they answer that it is makhluqa, uh, uh, it is uh, uh, spirit uh, uh, from Amri Rabbi, the Holy Prophet وسلم, when he asked about nature of the spirit, he said, answer the ayah, Ar-Ruhu min Amri Rabbi. It is uh, from a command of my Lord. Uh, so that is the uh, meaning of this spirit. And in this meaning, means a spirit of the body. Uh, in this meaning, uh, many other ayahs has come that is about Adam alayhi uh, salam when I make him from clay and I blow in it from my spirit what is that spirit? it is a created spirit contingent spirit, not eternal what about creation of Jesus uh, peace be upon him we blow in him from our a spirit uh, and we made Mary and her son a sign for the uh, alamin for the worlds uh, or again another ayah about uh, Jesus that in the Messiah the uh, Isa ibn Maryam Jesus Christ is the Rasulullah his messenger of God not God you know and his word word of what word of a creation that is be and it will be when God wants to create something, you say, be. Right away, everything is being existent. Uh, so be. And that word was um, delivered to uh, Mary, and he is ruhun min, his spirit from Almighty God. So this is spirit created by God. Like Almighty God, this is, say, the mosque is house of God. Um, so that doesn't mean God is living in that house. No, that is an honor for special places to say this is house of God. Uh, so this is Saul is said, Saul from God, belong to God. 
because it is honored soul is not coming like other souls through parents no it came uh, to the mother right away without father or to Adam and Eve they have no father no mother so the spirit is a created spirit but related to God is a my spirit means respected spirit created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is one of the meaning of the spirits I mean that is about the spirit of the body in the Holy Quran another meaning it is the Jibreel alayhi salam the Archangel uh, Gabriel uh, for example uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فَأَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْهَا رُوحَنَا فَتَمَثَّلَ لَهَا بَشَرًا سَوِيَّا we have sent to her our spirit and he became like a human being so that was the angel Gabriel came to give her good tidings that you will get uh, you will born a baby uh, so here uh, it is meant by Jibreel and uh, then in another ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, give attributes to Jibreel that he is the honest and he is the pure like نَزَّلَ بِهِ الرُّوحُ الْأَمِينَ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِكَ for the spirit who is trustworthy uh, or in another one قُلْ نَزَّلَهُ الرُّوحُ الْقُدُسِ مِنْ رَبِّكَ uh, he brought and say uh, it was brought by the uh, Holy Spirit from your Lord uh, Imam al-Baqar alayhi salam uh, said in tafsir of the uh, the first uh, ayah نَزَّلَ بِهِ الرُّوحُ الْأَمِينَ that he was uh, Archangel Jibreel Wal Qudus Al Tahir. That means the the Al Qudus, the Holy Spirit. We say it means the a pure uh, or a purified spirit. So that is a purified spirit and related to God as part of honoring Him and showing His greatness. So this is the second meaning of a spirit in the Holy Quran. The third meaning is a creation or maybe an angel, an angel uh, bigger than other angels, bigger than even Jibreel and Mikael. And we mentioned that yesterday that there are five spirits, one of them Ruhul Qudus, and that is a creation of Allah, uh, maybe separate in, in his nature than the prophets or uh, than the angels or maybe an angel but bigger than all other angels called Ruh al-Qudus uh, and that is the important responsibilities are given to him and he is with the prophets all with uh, support them and showing them the right direction not to err not to do mistake uh, like uh, Allah said يَوْمَ يَقُومُ الرُّوحُ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ صَفَّ لَا يَتَكَلَّمُونَ that is in the day judgment, you see, a day where the spirit and the angels, means the spirit is different from the angels. So what is spirits? They are standing and not talking in front of their Lord. That is the, the special Holy Spirit, not in relation to Jibreel. Though Jibreel sometimes called the Holy Spirit. But that spirit is different, Ruh al-Qudus. Or in Sumat al-Qadr, تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر. In that night, ليلة القدر, the ملائكة, the angels and the ruh and the spirit bring by permission of God any command of Allah. So a spirit other than angels. If that was the same angels, say all angels will come. They say no, the angels and the spirit. So that spirit is. Uh, have more power and more responsibilities and they come down to earth with every command naturally in his tafsir they come down to imam of the time and through him the blessings of Allah will go to the uh, people of the world you know. uh, so that is the explanation of this one uh, Imam Sadiq alayhi salam uh, when he was asked وَكَذَلِكَ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ رُوحًا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا As such, we have revealed to you a spirit from our command. He said that is a creation 
from creation of Allah. خلقٌ من خلق الله. Did not say he is angel. Is a creation. أعظم من جبريل. Such a great uh, creation that is um, bigger or more important than Jibreel and Mikael. And that one was with the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Tell him and support him. And he is with the Imams after the Prophet. وهو مع الأيمة من بعده. So that is what we said. روح القدس uh, we discussed yesterday uh, about one type of the spirit. The fourth one, روح الإيمان uh, well, that spirit which is for believers also uh, mentioned in the Holy Quran uh, like what Allah said وَأَيَّدَهُمْ بِرُوحٍ مِّنْ Imam al-Baqir al-Sadiq alayhi salam said that it is meant by that ruh in this ayah that Iman Allah supported them with a spirit from him that spirit, spirit of Iman. For the Mu'mineen, they have a spirit of Iman. Uh, if they do any sin, that spirit will leave them. So at that time, they are not a Mu'min. If they repent to Allah from the sin they did, Ruh al-Iman will come back to them. Uh, we discussed it yesterday and um, also here hadith from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, if Somebody do adultery, the adulterer. If you do adultery, فَارَقَهُ رُوحُ الْإِيمَانِ رُوحُ الْإِيمَانِ The spirit of faith will be separated from him. Uh, and they said about this ayah, وَأَيَّدَهُمْ بِرُوحٍ مِنْ And that spirit which will not be separated from them if they remain believers without doing uh, sins. Uh, maybe similar to it, the spirit of guiding the people to the right path. When Allah said, Awaman kana maytam fa'ahyayna. Or the one who was dead and we make him alive and we made for him a light, moving with that light among the people. Is he similar to one who is moving in darkness, not coming out of it? وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُ نُورًا يَمْشِي بِي فِي النَّاسِ كَمَنْ مَثَلُهُ فِي الظُّلُمَاتِ لَيْسَ بِخَارِجٍ مِنْهَا So here, what is this? Uh, he was dead and we made him alive and we made a light for him. That light is روح الإيمان. You know. uh, and the fifth, fifth meaning of the spirit in the Holy Quran, he said, uh, meaning the book and prophethood. Like uh, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, ينزل الملائكة بالروح من أمره على من يشاء من عباده Allah will descend the angels by the Spirit from His command upon whoever He want from His servants. So what that Spirit, the angels bringing down, Spirit is the naturally the book uh, and the prophethood. Uh, Imam al-Baqir said the meaning in this ayah it is the book the Holy Quran for example and the uh, prophethood so these are different uh, meanings uh, about the uh, spirit but as we said the spirit was created before this world and uh, we discussed that before the prayer of Imam Hussein salam in the in uh, the day of Arafah, uh, says uh, Salamullah alayhi in, in detail about it, uh, that, O oh Allah, uh, uh, I thank you that you started me uh, before I was uh, something uh, important to mention, and you created me from clay, then you um, gave me shelter in the loins of the fathers or the back of the father. Uh, I am protected from the um, difficulties of death or changes of the times and years. And I was uh, changed from the solbin ila rahim, from a loin, means of the father, to womb of a mother, 
في تقادم من الأيام الماضية in those early days and قرون الخالية the centuries which has passed so this shows that I was at that time and that time is not as the مفسرين said it means لم يكن شيء مذكورا he was not something important to be mentioned means that about the fertilized ovum in the womb of the mother it was one fertilized cell and has no much value no mom he said no i was before uh, thousands or millions of years god knows how much that i was there not to be mentioned and then you made me from clay and you put me in the loins of the fathers to the mothers for centuries past you know uh, till you brought me out uh, um, uh, uh, through a semen which is ejaculated and let me stay at the three darknesses means in the womb of the mother so it, it shows that the spirit was created before and then comes and then it joined a special body that body probably is like we what we say is a code which will fit for this spirit every spirit has its special body special code when that is created it will uh, be blown in it or it will enter that body and that body will be alive uh, maybe in the fourth month of uh, intrauterine life because the ayah when it said mudra wa alaqa when it's uh, clay and cloth and uh, then bones and then we cover the bones with the flesh then we created him a different a creature, different creature. What is different if it is the same body growing from four months to five, six, seven till nine? So it's the same. But here uh, it is said that uh, when the spirit uh, joined that body. Uh, so that is about the spirit and its relation with the soul and relation to the body. If we know this naturally, that will help us better to understand our duties that we are supposed to do in dunya and how it is reflected on our life on akhirat these subjects we are going to discuss inshallah in the coming nights walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa sallallahu ala muhammad wa alihi tahirin allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala muhammad wa